Wow, you won't believe this. So first of all, Donald Trump just got mentioned and it has a lot to do with these things right here on the court files. These are directly from pacer.com. I'll have them linked on ehack.com so you can see them all uh, for free because otherwise you have to pay like $30 to get the 328 pages. Uh, but anyway, Donald Trump gets mentioned in this. Videotapes of uh, Epstein uh, uh, filming Richard Branson from Virgin Galactic, Clinton and other folks are mentioned in this. I'm going to go through all of these mentions and you're gonna see everything about Donald Trump as well. But I want to be really clear, at least as of this point, and, and I want to be exceptionally clear because, you know, generally I respect this account on Twitter uh, and I've been looking at all these documents myself and I thought, you know what, let's, let's just see what they're saying. I have not seen any mention on their account. This is Mario's account on Twitter. I have not seen, when I look at Trump, I don't see any mentions to what you're about to see regarding Trump on any of these recent posts from Mario on Twitter, which is weird because X has been known to start maybe leaning more right. Mario, you're saying you're unbiased, bro. Put this up because it's in the same files. Now, again, I don't have a horse in this race. I don't care. I'm just going to show you all the documents in the 328 pages. And this is what they're hiding. This is what the, the like Twitter is not showing right now. Uh, and again, we don't know if this is true. These are just, these are in the court files. You could go to pacer.com, sign up for an account and get them yourself. I don't want you to think like I'm somehow biased and showing something versus not. I'm just going to put it all up. Uh, the case number, if you want to put it in, it's 1 colon 15 dash CV dash 07433 dash LAP. You actually don't even have to put the LAP in. It comes up without the lap. Okay, that's a weird word. But anyway, this appears to be, and we don't know, this could all be bullcrap. All of the case documents could be bullcrap, right? So let's be very clear about that. Uh, but what we do know is that this document is within the entire file set. You could go to page 316 if you do it in order. And it says here, uh, this is all it starts with. Like there's nothing before it. It just says exhibit six. And then it literally says this. Several girls at any one time. She confided in me about her casual friendship with Donald. Mr. Trump definitely seemed to have a thing for her. And she told me how he kept going on about how he liked her pert nipples. Donald Trump liked flicking and sucking her nipples until they were raw. One evening when we were showering together, she showed me her nipples. They looked incredibly painful as they were red and swollen. And I remember wincing when I looked at them. I also knew she had sexual relations with Trump at Jeffrey's New York mansion on regular occasions as I once met Jen for coffee. So Virginia, who is one of the plaintiffs in this case, goes by the nickname Jenna, which could be shortened Jen here. We don't know with certainty. So I wrote Virginia because I think it's Virginia. Now, if you uh, look at the bottom of this, it actually says that this file is an exhibit from Ransom, whom we believe to be Sarah Ransom. Sarah Ransom was 22 in 2006 when she was supposedly first abused by Jeffrey Epstein. And according to her, via the Daily Mail, a JP Morgan employee told her not to report the abuses she dealt with with the Epsteins. Remember, Epstein was a JP Morgan client from 1998 to 2013. I added all this red text here, right? Uh, but what's interesting is Virginia started working for Epstein allegedly when she was 16 to 17 in 1999 to 2000. That would make Virginia underage. Sarah is talking about Virginia when, and, and uh, but, but the problem is Sarah didn't start working for Epstein allegedly until 2006. But by 2006, Virginia wouldn't have been 16 to 17. She would have been 22 to 23. So is it possible that Donald Trump is involved or was involved? Yes. Does this suggest Donald Trump was involved with Virginia when Virginia was underage? No, this does not suggest that Donald Trump was involved when Virginia was underage. The most this alleges is that Donald Trump well, fondled a girl's nipples who was between 22 and 23 named Virginia. That's really what this document alleges about Trump. I do think it's interesting that certain groups are hiding this and are not talking about this. I don't know why, but I guess that's just how the game is played on social media. Maybe it's unpopular to do it, but my thing is what can I do to just provide both sides? And then you make your opinion. I have no horse in this race. I don't care. So, uh, she, 
Okay, now this is the Clinton part, okay? This is another one where it cuts off. It goes exhibit five, and then it goes, whilst he spanked his thingy on her bottom, she all, and we don't know who his is here. It's cut off. She also had, she also had to have, so it makes it sound like she was forced. She also had to have sexual intercourse with Clinton in Epstein's New York mansion just off Fifth Avenue on numerous occasions. Yes, I do see the comment here. Yes, it is possible that Virginia's like, you know, business was paid for, but we don't know. But anyway, okay, back to this. Uh, she also had to have sexual intercourse with Clinton in Epstein's New York mansion off Fifth Avenue on numerous occasions. It's the New York mansion we spoke about yesterday. I too was forced by Epstein to visit regularly. And this is Sarah Ransom again. And if I didn't turn up, he would personally come and find me wherever I was hiding. It bewilders me how Epstein always seemed to know where I was if I didn't turn up at his New York residence. When my friend had sexual intercourse with Clinton, Prince Andrew, and Richard Branson, the founder of the Virgin Group, uh, like Virgin Galactic and whatever, Sex tapes were, in fact, filmed on each separate occasion by Jeffrey. Huge allegation. Thank God she managed to get a hold of some footage of the filmed sex tape tapes, which clearly identify the faces of Clinton, Prince Andrew, and Branson having sexual intercourse with her. Frustratingly enough, Epstein was not seen in any of the footage, but he was clever like that. Uh, I'm gonna remember. Uh, uh, give me like 10 minutes after I post this video. I'll have this link on ehack.com so you could just see my annotations on the actual documents where I'm reading this from, uh, and and then that way you could look at it or just go to pacer.com and find it yourself. You just have to pay for it if you go there. Uh, okay. After two hours of trying to convince, that's where I just put all my research. By the way, look, I'm a finance guy. I usually don't get involved in this kind of drama, but this is like political drama and, and has big implications for the election, which obviously has implications for uh, for finance. So so we just we want to cover it. Anyway, after two hours of trying to convince my friend to come forward uh, with me, I eventually managed to persuade her to send me some of the video footage which she kept implicating all three men mentioned above. Obviously, at this point, we haven't seen any of this video footage. We haven't seen any, like, screenshots from it or whatever. But this is just Sarah Ransom saying, I can personally confirm that I have with my own two eyes seen the evidence of these sexual acts, which clearly identifies Bill Clinton, Prince Andrew, and Richard Branson as having sexual intercourse with my friend. No Donald Trump not being mentioned in this portion. I will be more than willing to uh, swear under oath and testify in court over these sex tapes. It will break your heart. Why, why swear and testify under oath? Just show the videos. It will break your heart into a million tiny pieces, Maureen. This is an email to a reporter, I believe, uh, named Maureen. When you watch this footage, and I know what I watched yesterday, it will haunt me for the rest of my life. She made me feel like a, a, a dirty whore, and I wasn't taken f uh, seriously. This is when, when she argues, uh, or her friend went to the police station to report that she had been abused. She argues she was humiliated by the police department. They didn't believe her. When she tried to sue Epstein for damages, she was severely bullied and threatened by his lawyer, Alan Dershowitz, whom she also had sexual relations with and who was also heavily involved in the Epstein pedophile ring. A couple months later, she was approached by special forces men sent directly by Hillary Clinton herself. They heavily intimidated her, ruffled her up, and was then forced to sign a confidentiality agreement, which ensures she can never come forward publicly implicating uh, her husband. She was then given a substantial payout directly from the Clinton Foundation to keep her quiet. Uh, she is 100% certain that the FBI did a cover-up and she had the individual names of Hillary special officers involved in intimidating her. She was then forced against her will uh, to sign a legally binding confidentiality agreement on Hillary's behalf for her eternal silence. If she breaks the agreement, she is dead. I personally met Alan on multiple times. Jeffrey sent him to my legal aid to deal with a case I opened against Redacted, whom I met through the online website sugardaddy.com. And so-and-so also tried to rape me with his friend. Okay, so a lot of huge allegations there. The, uh, the other things that you want to see are just from these ransom files are... The, the style of some of these emails. So we need to get the other girls to come forward. Maureen, as they are all afraid. There are more girls, Maureen. More than you can imagine. They're scared. And I am. But Jeffrey Clinton and Trump must pay for what they did to us. And uh, 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 the rest of men that were involved in their seedy inner circle. We have to get the rest of the girls to come forward somehow. 
Okay, that's another one. Then we've got one right here. Uh, now this starts sounding a little unhinged because you see the exclamation marks and we could call it passion or what. But anyway, I'm stronger than that. Mark my words. I will take them down and you down with me if you do not publish my story. Woo! I've already corresponded with the Moscow police and aid them in stopping Hillary and Trump in getting through. I will film my own interview and post it on all of my own social media. I have emailed WikiLeaks and Anonymous. Like, there is clearly some desperation here by Ransom to get her story out. And that is leading some people to question the legitimacy of her allegations against what she saw with her friend's relationship, uh, with potentially Donald Trump, uh, and, and the, you know, nipple argument, uh, as well as the Clinton video footage, uh, or Richard Branson footage. Sarah Ransom here says, mark my words, I will make sure that neither that evil bitch Hillary or that pedophile Trump gets elected. I will make sure that everybody on the goddamn planet sees that footage. And photos will release them to WikiLeaks by Sunday. I will take Epstein and his bunch of F-wit cronies myself. I have gone to a Russian newspaper. Seemingly as the US government won't help me, surprise, surprise, I will help myself just like I always have. You've just lost your exclusive and I'm super effed off now. I feel strongly about taking these evil seas down. Okay. Uh, let's get another one here. So, uh, okay. So then we have, we're going to hit, uh, the fit. And here's another part of the testimony we want to look at. This was interesting. So this is, she testified that Epstein and Maxwell, knowing Jane Doe 43 was financially destitute and was suffering from depression, lured her into their commercial sex trafficking ring with the false promises of taking care of her and paying for her education if she complied with their demands. Okay. Um, that's interesting. Then we have the, let's get to, let's get to some of the other highlights we have here. It's 328 pages, so I'm trying to get you to the best parts. What do we have here? Uh, there was a lot in these 328 pages, by the way, about denying access to emails and discovery. That was probably the bulk of the 300 pages, trying to get Epstein to testify in this file drop. This is the January 8th file drop here. We do have some background on Sarah Ransom, basically arguing that she provides pictures that these all came from Ransom to indicate that she was involved. Uh, so the files are labeled Ransom, uh, which is just a, a crazy ironic last name. But anyway, there's Jeffrey Epstein on ATV or Quad. Here are some other girls, including Nadia, who was involved. Here's Nadia multiple other times, photos, defendant, uh, multiple photos over here. There's that Jean-Luc Brunel, who was alleged by Virginia uh, to have sex with Virginia when she was underage. Uh, this is a photo of Sarah Ransom. Uh, this was interesting as well. This argument here that could you please tell Jeffrey to phone me on the item or the number I gave him ASAP as I'm not prepared to go under 56 kg, which is about 123.5 uh, uh, kilo or, uh, pounds to uh, to join the to study at fit. I think that's the Fashion Institute of Technology. Uh, I'm, I'm not exactly sure about that, um, that that fit is that, but that is what's uh, being alleged here. Uh, okay, so then let's see here. This is another interesting one. Okay, let's throw this up on screen here. Maxwell bullied me. Look at this one. Ransom. Well, in fact, she used to personally call me herself to give Jeffrey massages, not body massages, sexual massages. It should be rephrased. I mean, it was pretty obvious. I mean, the whole weight thing. I tried to swim off the island. I tried to escape from an island during the evening and tried to escape from her because I didn't lose weight. They would cut me out of their financially off. So cut her off financially, basically. I would lose the place I was staying at. I would lose my education. You name it. They bullied me with everything, just like they did with the other girls. 
There are many allegations in these documents that there are many other girls. There are also allegations or suggestions here that Ransom was listed on flight logs to Epstein's Island. And here's a screenshot of those. Uh, although these flight logs, I, I don't know if they're just using, um, uh, you know, nicknames here or acronyms or if Ransom is written in there in small letters or something. It could be. It's very difficult for me to tell from, from this PDF document. So that's something else that came up. And if we go to the summaries, summary text, most of this we've gone through. But quickly, if you want to yourself, you could go to page 136 and uh, you can read some more of the key testimony. Defendant's direct involvement. This is all about Sarah Ransom today. These are the ransom messages. Uh, clarifying that body massages meant sex, that massages were sex. We've heard that before. Maxwell was Epstein's main right-hand woman between 2006 and 7. Uh, and uh, here's uh, more information about uh, seeing with her own eyes how other girls reported to them, how younger girls reported to them. And uh, let's see here. Let's see if there's anything else that's new in this summary here. I don't think there is. I don't have anything else highlighted, but we'll do a quick little look. Girls were paid to recruit other girls. Maxwell was paid for the recruitment of younger females, including you, what she told me. Uh, apart from what she told you, do you have any other basis for this? Well, I saw it with my own eyes. I was a witness. What did you witness? I witnessed the same thing all the other girls did. The same thing I had to do was go and report for Sarah, Leslie, and Maxwell. Maxwell obviously being the last, uh, the top person deemed to be Mama Bear. Uh, then we've got... Uh, Jeffrey then went on. Jeffrey went into uh, bed on plane, having open sex with Nadia for everyone to see on display. Uh, Nadia was straddling Jeffrey for quite some time. I was watching them both um, E-word with each other. They were having quite a good time together. This is all trying to establish uh, Ransom at or on the plane. Okay, let's see here. Clothing, Victoria's Secret clothing, they were provided. We've seen this in other allegations as well, that Jeffrey Epstein would frequently give girls money to buy lingerie from uh, Victoria's Secret. And that's about the bulk of the docs. So keep in mind, the part this, that you might not see the most about, depending on where, where the political sources are coming from, uh, are quite frankly the last pages here. And uh, this is this is a document here where Dershowitz suggests that Ransom lacks credibility. And so that's going to be a big thing. Obviously, people start debating is that, hey, you know, this this Ransom girl has no credibility. Don't listen to a word she says. And part of the reason for that is because. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. By the way, here's Sarah Ransom arguing that her emails have been hacked. I've reached out to Russians for help and they are coming to my aid. Thank goodness for anonymous. Some of these emails do feel very unhinged. Uh, there's a lot of this. I, I mean, I know there's probably a very stressful situation going on here, but lines like, I will make sure they all go behind bars. I've already sent everything I need to. The CIA, hacking my emails, ETC, were too late. I also have numerous devices with systems that are unhackable. I have film footage all over Europe itching to be released. Thanks again for your help. You really took one for the team. Okay, this is also very bizarre because it's Sarah emailing herself. But anyway, uh, don't believe me. I can prove that too. You don't know what I am and what I'm not going to go away until I have achieved my goals of getting the bad guys where they belong. Okay, so convinced. Then we have this we've already... This is actually a duplicate of one of the other exhibits that we saw in Clinton. And again, this is the Clinton section here we covered at the beginning of the video, which was the uh, my friend had sexual intercourse with Clinton, Prince Andrew, and Branson, likely referring to Virginia, who was underage at one point. And then this is the Donald Trump mention about her casual friendship with Trump, which involved fondling her breasts at, new, at, at Donald Trump fondling her breasts at Jeffrey's mansions on regular occasions. But again, remember that the girl alleging this didn't start working until with the Epstein's until 2006. And by then, if this indeed was Virginia they're talking about, Virginia was probably between 22 and 23 years old. So that gives you a full update on the latest uh, that is on these tapes. 
So uh, thanks so much for being here. If you want to learn more about my perspectives, an unbiased way to build your wealth, this is a kind of a weird place to mention this, but uh, go to meetkevin.com. Uh, I can teach you how to build wealth in real estate, how to minimize paying taxes, become an entrepreneur, expand your entrepreneur business, your sales skills, your uh, ability to defer paying taxes, potentially in some cases never pay taxes uh, on your investments. There's some great ways to do that. Uh, so uh, take a look at that, all at meetkevin.com. Thank you so much for being here. It's coffee time and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Not advertise these things that you told us here. I feel like nobody else knows about this. We'll, we'll try a little advertising and see how it goes. Congratulations, man. You have done so much. People love you. People look up to you. Kevin Pafrath there, financial analyst and YouTuber. Meet Kevin. Always great to get your take.